Hello friends, welcome back to She's In Her Apron. I am so glad you're here because today we're going to meal plan. I'm gonna be sharing with you some grocery hauls. I'm gonna be sharing with you how I am shopping my shelves, my pantry, my freezers, my fridge. And all of this is gonna help my family save a little bit of moolah before we leave in two weeks to Disney. If you have something coming up that you need a few bucks for, but you don't know where you're gonna pull it from, it's gonna come from your food budget. So let me share with you how you can do this. All right, I've already looked through my refrigerator and there's, there was a huge mess in there I'm gonna be sharing with you. And I saw some things that I can make some meals with. I jotted a really quick list down and I ran to three, three different stores the other day. Check it out. So I have Costco in the back and we'll get to that last. And then these are those other stores I was talking about. Two packets of fajita mix, five dozen medium eggs, some mozzarella cheese, two bricks. It was a great price. We're going to shred this and I'm going to be sharing with you an uh, upcoming video that's coming in, I want to say two weeks, could be sooner, <laughs> what I'm doing with these. It's a fun one. It's a freezer meal. You're going to love it. Some smoked ham slices for the kids for sandwiches. I'm going to be making and freezing some ham sandwiches for school. Bananas. And then I went to another store and their bananas were like 20 cents cheaper. I was so bummed, but anyway. American Beauty pasta was on sale. So I grabbed two bags of penne and then two of the rigatoni. And I was low on pasta, if you guys saw in my food storage room tour that I gave. I'll leave a link to that. And so I grabbed more of that. Some tomato paste. I was down to four cans and I'm going to be making some more gravy here um, in the next week or so. So I'm gotta have tomato paste it's like in my blood <laughs> I gotta have tomato paste and then I grabbed these tortilla chips we tried these I want to say about a week ago we had some friends over and um, these are gluten-free I don't know if all of these chips are gluten-free but I loved the texture of them they were airy and light and I just loved the taste of them so now I'm a big fan of these uh, some halos a mandarin oranges and they, oh, they look like they're imperfect so the kids will have these for snacks and in their lunches ketchup because in my house it's like milk bread eggs ketchup so I grab more oh this is actually from Costco but that's part of the Costco haul um, some mini Bubba's bagels we have some cream cheese in the refrigerator the kids are loving the mini bagels lately you've seen me buy them on and off in hauls but it's not something that I regularly buy and right now they're loving these some bread for the freezer sandwiches I do have videos on the freezer sandwiches I'll leave the links below but when you're making freezable sandwiches you got to use a good bread not cheap bread and what I mean by cheap bread someone asked me this before in a comment I don't mean the price I mean the quality how good is it gonna stand up if it's a very like thin bread like I noticed like the Walmart generic bread does not freeze well but get something that has more substance that's what I mean by that alright so um, one of the stores had some canned goods on sale and if you guys remember from my food storage room tour I was low on cream style corn we use cream style corn in our corn chowder so I grabbed 10 cans um, and so now we could put those down in the basement because three cans make one soup and we pretty much all the time triple the recipe so right here is going to give us one um, give us three recipes and I know I have two more cans already down in the food room so I have enough to do four corn chowders yes all right, grab some blueberries because I got Shaylee some cottage cheese. She loves cottage cheese. And then split peas because I have a ham bone in the refrigerator. Some pepperoni. Then uh, some Miracle Whip. We like to have Miracle Whip their sandwiches and tuna fish. Some whole milk. I got a quart of this because, or I mean a half gallon of this, because um, I'm going to be making some clam chowder. And then one of my favorite stores, I stopped off and got their salsa this is so good so with this salsa and those chips yum 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 all right some two boxes of orange like jello because i'm going to make our orange salad i do have a video on that and it takes pineapple tidbits so i grabbed that 
more of the Herbs de Provence. We love this stuff. This is what I use a lot in my chicken orzo soup and we were running low and I was there so I hurried and grabbed more of that. Three cans of minced clams for the clam chowder but I already have another, um, it takes four for one just making it once, not doubling it. And I have another can down in my food storage room, so we're good there. I was out of eyeliner, and I grabbed more of the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. I like this stuff. This is the Espresso one. This is I like using that one. Half and half for the corn uh, for the clam chowder. I also grabbed some green peppers, bell peppers, for a couple of recipes that I'm doing. Uh, but I am making sloppy joes tonight for dinner, and that will take that. And then their honey crisp apples were on sale for $1.99 a pound and they looked so good so I grabbed those. And then I grabbed a box of yellow corn shells for tacos. Alright let's jump into the Costco haul. I got things for the home and for our bellies. Grabbed some Brussels sprouts. Yum. Um, we needed more of the vanilla extract. You guys remember if I, I was talking about that at Christmas time, I never grabbed any. Well, now we're out. So I grabbed, this was expensive, but I guess it is everywhere, right? And then a bag of their sweet kale salad. Derek loves this. He loves putting chicken on it, packing it up for lunches for work. So we grabbed him that. Has broccolis, uh, it has broccoli, green cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, chicory, and then we don't use the dried cranberries or the pumpkin seeds or the dressing that comes with it. We usually just toss that. Um, some of their organic strawberry spread. This is so yummy. I'm going to be making the kids some of their freezable peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as well. And so we grabbed this. This doesn't have any of like the high fructose corn syrup or anything. And it has cane sugar. Um, so, And then more of the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Oh, Boston and I love this stuff. Love, love it. I can't eat a salad without it. It's so good. And then a twin pack of Jif. This was on sale and for a great deal. So I snagged this up. I do have some little, um, little um, jars of peanut butter down in my food room that I need to use first. But this was such a good deal. I had to grab it. This tote bag. Check this out. This is collapsible. You just poke the sides right here in and it drops down and then there is this loopy thing right there that you wrap around and it keeps it like down. So I'm like, yeah, I love this. This would be so good for the van. That bag drew me in. I was like, okay. Some more of the almond milk. We use a ton of this in our shakes, uh, our vegetable shakes and smoothies in the mornings. And then more juice boxes for the kids for school. They do go to school with a water bottle, but I put one in their lunches to give them a little sugar rush during the day as well. And then these crystal light packs that you can put in your water. So I grabbed some of that. They have different flavorings. That was on sale. Some frosted mini wheats. The kids enjoy that. And then a big stack of toilet paper. And, and then I needed socks. So I grabbed a package of these Puma socks. And then, you guys, I grabbed these mats here uh, for the kitchen. I, I was tired of the mismatch. Sometimes I would drag the one over the sink to the stove while I was working. And then I had the other one that was here. And I wanted two that matched it, just better on the eye. And these were, like, super cheap. And they're cushiony. Oh, and they feel so good on my feet. You guys, I have flat feet. So when I'm working in the kitchen, especially making the freezer meal videos and all the other videos for you, my feet will hurt. I'm really excited to use these. So checking them out, Paige, smelling them. Yeah, so that will feel good on my feet. And then I'm trying out this area rug right here, this runner in the hallway. I tried to find something that would match that one as best as I could. We're gonna give this a whirl. And if it doesn't pan out, the return policy at Costco is amazing. So I'm just going through my refrigerator right now, clearing it out, wiping it down from the craziness of the holidays and now that my folks are gone. And I am making a list of the meals that we can make with everything that I bought and everything that I have left in here. That way we're gonna be set for probably a good two weeks. I probably don't have to go buy much other than like maybe a couple of more veggies and things like that. but. So I think we're going to be good until we leave on our trip to Disneyland. I won't have to buy anything, so I think we're in a good spot. So I'm going to finish this up, and then you can see the end result. All right, it's looking a whole lot better. I wiped down the shelves, 
and went through everything so now I can menu plan these are the things that need to get used up like leftovers yeah so we're we're in a good spot so and I also cleaned out this drawer we have lots of cheeses and so I'll be making some meals with that but we have string cheese big block cheeses for some recipes that I'm doing and here's some meats so we are good um well, let's see. I have lots of lettuce and carrots and celery and peppers and tomatoes. And so I think other than maybe milk, um, I think I have another gallon in the fridge downstairs. I think we're going to be good with the meals that I am planning um, until we leave for Disney. So I might need to pick up maybe some more lettuce. But other than that, we are good. We are in good shape before Disney. Now that that is taken care of, I'm going to meal plan. I like I said, I already knew some of the meals that I was already going to make, but I'm going to share with you some other meals with the things that I already have on my shelves and in the freezers. All right, let's get this menu going. With that ham bone, I know I could do a split pea soup. Oh, the family loves that one. I do have a video on that for you. And with the mushrooms, Salisbury steak, now in my freezer I have a ton of ground beef because we go in on a cow with the family. Clam chowder because it's one of our favorites. And then sloppy joes. That's why we got the green peppers. So on one of my grocery trips about a week ago we bought some hamburger buns to make sloppy joes but then we ended up using the green peppers for something else. Now in the refrigerator we had some sausage and in my freezer we have some shrimp. And I just bought a bag of rice about, what, a week ago that I think I shared with you. So, I think we're going to make gumbo. Or jambalaya. I'm not sure how you call it. How you spell it. <laughs> I'll just put that. So, Derek can make either one of those because we have everything for it and the spices. I have some ricotta cheese in my fridge that I didn't use up. So, I have some rigatoni and some spaghetti sauce. So, we could do lazy man lasagna. It's basically baked ziti. And some of these I could be totally making into a freezer meal. And then we have the, all the things for tacos. We have a ton of cheese. We have the taco shells. Of course the ground beef in the freezer. And then the, the new tomatoes that I just bought. And I have lettuce. So And we have black beans and all of that. So we could definitely have tacos. Now also in my freezer I have chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs, so I could do, oh my gosh, anything with those. But I definitely can do the pesto ranch chicken. I've shared that with you guys before. I have pesto downstairs on the shelf in my food room. I also have some frozen pesto. I like to freeze the Costco pesto. So I have that as well. Gosh, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight meals. That is awesome. I already have a week of meals. I am going to be sharing with you some pizza packs. So... Um, that's coming up in an upcoming video, so we can have homemade pizza, we have pepperoni, we have cheese. Um, oh my gosh, we could put some of that sausage on it. Um, oh my word, yeah. We can do any type of pizza pretty much. So we can, we're going to have pizza. Also, we're going to do barbecue chicken drumsticks. I have got everything for that. I can also do chicken in a hurry. I have that recipe. That's a slow cooker recipe. The other day we had a pork loin that I bought from, I think it was Walmart or Smith's. And I think I shared that haul with you. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Um, but we have a pork loin. I did cook that for dinner. I don't know if I have any footage on it. If I do, I'll share it with you. But we have some leftover pork loin. Also, if you have a recipe that I could use, please leave it down below. I also have some chicken tenderloins and chicken breasts in my freezer. And I have a can, uh, two cans of the enchilada sauce and some cream cheese in the refrigerator. So, again, chicken enchiladas. Yum. And then we have roast and steak. So, we're, one night we're going to have steak um, with sweet potatoes. I have those in the bucket in the pantry. And then um, I could do my friend Jana's roast because that is a favorite of ours. So look at that. Look at all these meals that we're going to be having for the next two weeks. That 
Feels so good. That's awesome. Okay, this cute little clipboard. I'm not sure. I I think I got this at Ross. So this is going to stay on our counter. That way I can always see it. And then I start crossing off things when I make them. Now also with these mails is what can I probably already make and throw in my freezer? Or what can I make and then just keep in the refrigerator so all I have to do is just pull it out and heat it up. Maybe I can double these things and make a freezer meal out of them. That's my favorite thing to do actually. In clam chowder, I'm gonna take out these rolls. And see down here I have a bag of shrimp and all the roasts are right there, all the ground beef. In there we have a ton of steaks. Now also if I wanted to put on our menu plan is beef stew. Those are all beef stew meats. So I also have that option very handy. I have carrots, I have celery, I have onions, I have potatoes. So I can easily do a beef stew. Oh, and I have beef stock and yeah. So I could definitely add that onto the meal plan as well. Okay friends, here is the food room. If you'd like to see the new food room tour and how I set it up, just click on the link below or the eye in the sky. Um, I just cleaned out my pantry for you guys. You're gonna see it Sunday and my whole kitchen. So these are things that need to get put onto the shelf. <laughs> but I just want to share with you what's going on here. So also in the menu planning, I can do um, corn chowder because I have the cream style corn, all of that here. And it takes cream and mushroom soup. I'm trying to find a recipe without it, but this one is our favorite, favorite. And I have bacon in the refrigerator and in my freezer. So we can do the corn chowder as well. Okay, also in my freezer, I have some pie, Pillsbury pie crusts, and I have tuna fish, and I have everything to make the tuna fish pie, or I've called it to you guys tuna pot pie. I've got the eggs, the tuna, the potatoes. So that is also a meal I can add on to that big list. So as we see here, I've got two big cans of the enchilada mix so I can do that. Down here is the pasta. Here's a big bag of rigatoni. I could do the lazy man. I do have some more pasta that I found in my pantry that I'm going to put in here and I did buy some in that haul that need to go down in here. So lazy man lasagna there you go. I have taco shells here and then from the haul so we're, we're definitely having tacos and if I wanted to with the stuffing mixes I have here from Thanksgiving I can also do stovetop chicken casserole. I just need some chicken, some cheese, um, frozen veggies, which I have, and I have the stuffing mix to put on top, and that makes a great freezer meal. All right, let me share with you a few of the meals that we've already had and made into a freezer meal. So tonight is Monday night, and I made the Sloppy Joes. We had that for dinner with the buns. It was so good. When it cooled off, I put it in this big Ziploc bag, put a label on it, and now I have Sloppy Joes for another night. All right, it's Tuesday night and we had Salisbury steak. The mashed potatoes I made in the Instapot. I used up the leftover mushrooms that we had in the refrigerator. Here's the clam chowder. Such an easy meal, you guys. It's easier than you think. And I do have a video on this, so click on the link below. Well, friends, I hope this motivated you. Hey, if you're needing to save a little bit of money for the next two weeks, you know, put that towards something else that you're planning, Definitely meal plan, see what you can stretch, see what meals that you can make from the things that you already have in your refrigerator and on your shelves. One website that is super handy is All Recipes. You could put like a couple of ingredients that you have and you could see what recipes you could make from it. Super handy, so. All right, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.